As Africans or as humans, uh, for me, modern just means that we kind of keeping up with the times and we evolving in a very unique way. I view it as a place of progress, as a place of prosperity. Modern Africa is me describing to the rest of the world and showing the rest of the world what South Africa is about. Easiest way to allow people into that world is through the power of music. The song is called Colors. It's literally about my dad passing. And I wasn't sure when I sent it to Timba, I was like, dude, like it might be a little personal. That's the thing about music and that's the thing about being in the moment and that's the thing about being a songwriter. And I hope that everybody's gonna dig it. If I have to take all the music that I love that isn't being made anymore and I had to bring it out in the current times, like what would that sound like? How do I incorporate my being into the music that I like so that like I can translate it to somebody else and give somebody a, a picture of what modern Africa is all about? It's not a new Africa. It's how things are being viewed now. It's a changed environment making an album that is a fusion of different sounds that have influenced myself, influenced Africa, and made Africa popular across the world. It's not a new world, but it kind of feels like there's something new that is happening. What it took for me to translate to modern Africa into music, I actually realized that like, I'm actually very ready to do this. And it's always something that I've wanted to do. And the intention for wanting to do it was the purest. It started with the rhythms, it started with the instruments, it started with what vocalists was I going to use. When I was busy making the album, I was in a space where I couldn't be influenced by anything but my thoughts and my feelings. Super talented, strong vocalist with a good heart. Ulizi umashande manda bize tu mamti manyo se oma sonchiga sinto kazi ya kulipo zumfulu malka ke ya kulele mzumbe cheni wate mea seng tume mase kuma ana iseng tume la ama iilo ipiti onge tinge instrument iseng tume la yona wase tena utela gituma sengi ngi pala Gives challenge and ging a billo lizula and tabamazi, betty hoy, When I realized that I was onto something with this project was actually with the buy-in from all the vocalists that agreed to work on the project. My brief was very simple. I'm making an album that is a fusion of different sounds that have influenced myself, influenced Africa, and made Africa popular across the world from a musical point of view. The world is being held together by the love of a very few people and we all should be ashamed of ourselves that we do not love enough. Africa has become the muse. It's become such an inspiration for different trends in the world right now. Modern Africa is the embodiment of all of that. 
when I heard the initial demo for Reflections, it really struck a chord with me. And I think it was just so poignant in terms of uh, how I felt at the time of writing it. And yeah, it was amazing the response that I got from Timba. It was able to fit in so well with the rest of the production. Everyone on this album is a South African, so it wouldn't be fair to the concept that I had, which is modern Africa, to work with people who were not from Africa and also multicultural and multi diverse South Africans. What everyone was bringing to the project was their piece of this puzzle that would make up modern Africa. So on the album, there's a couple of instrumental songs and one of them I focused on basically like it's like after the storm. There's a lot of uh, natural sounds in there. The storm always clears and we always go back to the beautiful place that we know it to be. I made this album because I want people to deep dive with me holding their hand and showing them that like, yes, this is Africa, but there's a modern version of, of Africa. There's a modern way of making music. I used the old school way of making music because I knew that certain sounds and elements are going to evoke things in people that they didn't even know they had. 